All right, day number two comes to a close here at D-Sport Magazine on their Project EF. Uh, we just did our cable to hydro conversion on this guy and it, uh, we ran into a couple of issues which I can see uh, you guys might have there as well uh, as far as bleeding. We had to uh, adapt the slave cylinder with a banjo. Uh, in this case, we're using a full race uh, radiator and this has a cable transmission. So we're gonna take a little closer look so you can see that. Well, we we're using the Hosport slave adapter on this guy and uh, the way that it's positioned actually pushes, would push our line kit as is when you get it right into the lower radiator hose. So we adapted a banjo fitting, as you can see there. Yeah. Feels good to drive? I think so. Can I drive it? Can you? Yeah. Can I go with you? Sure. Alright, so before you get in, I want to like... We're going to test drive the CRX with the Hush Performance hydraulic conversion kit on it, just freshly installed by Robert of Hush Performance himself. And I'm gonna give you my honest opinion about this conversion and see if you like it. Cause I'm not a fan of the cable trans and having to convert it. So we'll see if I like the product. Let's, let's go. Just gotta learn where it's at. Yeah, right. Well, this car, like, it's always been like, like kind of off on. Yeah. Don't laugh at me if I stall. Sitting, uh, like how you are, too close to the wheel. It's weird because it, I can tell, like, now that it's been converted, uh -huh. that it's hydraulic, like, you can feel the. the Big difference. The car feels good. Yeah, this car is solid. Homeboy spent some money on it. Yeah, you did. Man. Like getting some things done, you know? It's not your average CRX owner. If I like literally, if I wasn't sitting in the dashboard, <laughs> I, it would feel a lot better for me because I have long legs. Yeah, you do. But other otherwise, like overall, it's a really great feeling. It is stiff, yeah. but I think that's part of his clutch combination too. This car has a Exedi hyper single. Okay. So. Uh, I was explaining to. Um, oh my goodness. Sammy. Sammy, I was explaining to Sammy like what happens naturally with this pedal assembly that the EF ped pedal is mathematically too short for a hydraulic uh, transmission or the clutch for it. Uh -huh. So just because this has a, um, a cable transmission in it still, the slave cylinder still moves down uh, the arm of that extended piece, uh, the extended clutch arm of the cable transmission on this. Okay. So we, we lose ratio. So automatically, that's just what happened. I would vote out, but I don't know what he has this car set up for. Okay. Because they just put in the injectors and the manifold and all that stuff. This car feels bomb, dude. Yeah. I feel it most, like the most difference, like, I guess after I'm out of first gear, and then I'm driving through the gears, mm -hmm. like the pedal, it feels a lot better than before, you know? And then plus, any car, like since this was just converted, like any car that you like change the pedal on, you have to get used to how it drives again. Yeah, you know? of course. But otherwise,